It's a new week, so a new quilt. Favorite book. So this is the Three Yard Quilt Favorites book. Not sure if it's my favorite book just yet. I'm still figuring out little things here and there of what I like about each book, but this is the one I'm gonna be using a quilt from this week. And I'm gonna be doing the Simply Strips quilt, which is this cute little one here. So last month you saw that I made the pinwheel quilt out of camera fabric. And just to prove that I had a thing about stashing photography fabric because my bachelor's degree was in photography, Here's another cute one. I actually had pajama pants made out of this. Actually, I still have the pajama pants. And uh, with this one, because it was a white background with the flannel, we actually dyed the fabric a light purple because, I don't know, white pajama pants felt really sketchy. So we've got our colorful cameras. I think this one's gonna be super cute in the stripes. So this is gonna be the main wide stripe. And then to go with it, I had this one from the stash that I got. And so with those two together, I was like, how do I balance this out? I don't really know. There's so many colors in there. I had another color of this print, but I was like, I've done that a lot. I need something a little different. And the clearance sale was wrapping up at Cali Quilt Co. So since it was past January when I went shopping, I did take a look at the table. Didn't find anything that really struck out. At first I was thinking like a black fabric, but there's no black in here. So I looked at the Kona wall and found this color. I think it's dark jade or deep jade or something, but I think that's the right color to set it off. It kind of matches these cameras in here just enough and kind of ties in the green. And I think it's gonna be really fun. So the cameras are gonna be the main print and then the pink is gonna be the purple. And then I think the black is gonna be the green. So it kind of frames it up on the outside. So now that you've met this quilt, it's time to get it all cut up. This pile here is all my strip sets. This pile here is all my borders. I have not cut my binding yet because I ran out on this one. I could have gotten almost two inches, but I had a nine inch piece left and I need five strips. So this didn't quite cut it. So I'm gonna put that aside. I may come back with a different option for binding like I did on other quilts, but I do have enough of the remaining to do the pillowcase. So that's a plus. Those are ready to go. And now it's gonna get time to sew these together.
And here we have the Simply Stripes quilt. I'm really pleased with how this turned out. I think it looks really cute. And my thoughts on this one would be that this could be a directional print like it is on mine. Sure, it would be better if it wasn't and it was kind of tossed and everything was all over. But even with it being directional, I've got every other row they're facing this way and then the opposite way in those rows. So when you put those pieces together, really pay attention to that and that will kind of help you kind of get everything situated. The colors were really fun and so I'm excited to get this one all done. It's definitely a lot different from my previous photo quilt that was all black and white. This one's got a little bit more life to it, a little bit more pep and fun. So this would be good for any kind of teen or tween or obviously any photo loving adult, I suppose. And so the size on this one's about 44 by 61, which it's pretty good. Like this, this is it in scale to me. The top's a little bit higher, bottom's a little bit lower. These are all really good lap size quilts. So if you wanted to make it bigger, you could either make your borders a little bit wider in here. I'm noticing these books really love their triple border situation. So if you don't love the triple border, you can always just take it down to a double make some more blocks in here instead, or follow one of their twin or queen size instructions. So great options to make this bigger or longer or wider or whatever you may choose. So let's take a look at this closer and then we're gonna come back and quilt it soon.